and the blood of that and the holy gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading of the holy gospel according to St. Matthew. And the Lord said, the eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eye is sound, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is evil, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? No one can serve two masters, for he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor about your body, what you shall put on. Is not the soul more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of heaven and neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you being anxious can add one cubit to your statue? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow and neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown in the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O men of, li o ye, o men of little faith? Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek these things, and the Heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of his righteousness, and these things shall be added to you as well. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the power of the Most High. And the together, the few of us that were here, we had no air conditioning. I had, you know, three layers of clothing on with nothing to give me any kind of rest or any kind of cooling at all. And all of us, including my wife, who's usually always cold, was actually hot herself. They say that Necessity is the mother of invention. You may not know the name Willis Carrier, but in July of 1902, Willis Carrier looked at the situation and said to himself, how can I make things better? Willis Carrier was the one who invented the air conditioner. He's the one that invented it and he looked at the situation and he said to himself how can i at least fix the internal portion of a building right obviously we can't fix the outside we can't air condition outside but willis carrier is the one who created what we now know as the air conditioner and i wanted to look that up and i wanted to say to myself i want to thank that guy because it was miserable to me on Thursday morning. It was miserable 
having service without air conditioning, except especially down here in Florida. And I thought about that term, necessity is the mother of all inventions. Inventions are something that give the world something that makes it a better place. It can be an idea, it can be a structure, it can be a machine, it can be whatever else it is. And when Jesus Christ was here on earth, he came out of necessity. Right? He came out of a necessity because there was no way for us to be able to be saved. That day in the Garden of Eden, there was no way for us to be saved when we handed the deed to our lives and the deed to our, uh, to our world to the enemy. But out of necessity, when Jesus came, God made a way when there was no way. God made the way when there was no way. And again, as Willis Carrier looked at it, that's how the Lord looked at it, right? What do I do for the internal portion of the soul? The internal portion of the person. The external portion of us breaks down. We get sick. We break down. We, we get hurt. Broken bones. Different things like that. But the internal part of our souls, right? That part of our souls is the part... <coughs> that we so diligently seek, hopefully you're diligently seeking, to be fixed, right? Using the word loosely, fixed. And how do we do it, right? Today we celebrate some great martyrs. And these people throughout the centuries have been able to withhold and withstand whatever came towards them through the Holy Spirit. Again, necessity. The Holy Spirit came on Pentecost because we could not bear it if it were not for the grace of the Holy Spirit being with us. We cannot bear any of the things that the world has coming for us. And also out of necessity, Jesus tells us that in the end days, that he's going to cut that time short. For even the elect would fall. How bad is it going to be? that he's going to cut that time short so that way we can actually have a chance to be saved. I thank God for giving Willis Car uh, Carrier the knowledge and the wisdom he needed so that way we could have an air conditioner for us to be able to be here today. I thank God for giving him that wisdom. And I also thank God that he gave us the wisdom we needed to give us the opportunity to find our way to the throne of God. He has made a way where there was no way. Where things are impossible for man, always is possible for God. So we need to rely on that grace. And we need to ask God to fill us more and more with that Holy Spirit. And when we go into the world and we're facing these adversities, and we face those adversities with that one grain of mustard seed, I always ask God just to give me two. I just need one more grain of mustard seed someday. I need that focus. I need that heartfelt moving of the Holy Spirit that moves within me to guide me and to help me to become as sinless as possible. Am I ever going to be sinless? I don't think so. But I'm sure going to try it to try. I'm sure going to try it harder and harder and harder to get closer to the Lord so that way whatever I say, whatever I do, I can be the light of the world. Again, necessity dictates that we need that light of the world. Necessity dictates that we need the light to shine brightly so that others will have an opportunity to witness and to see who Jesus Christ is to us. So today, as we celebrate and we prepare 
our hearts for the gifts. Let us glorify the Lord with all of our heart and remember that necessity is the mother of all invention. We glorify and we praise you, Russ, in your name. Amen. Amen.